Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited you're joining me today. <laughs> We've been doing this for a solid little over two years now and every Thursday night and um, many of those Thursday nights I have not really known what I was going to do until right up until an hour before, but tonight I, <laughs> I'm even more not prepared. <laughs> oh, it has been so, so busy. As you know, the last chance list is out. Demonstrators are receiving copies of the new annual catalog. I cannot show you the inside, but I have flagged pages of things that I am going to pre-order tomorrow. If you're a demonstrator, leave me a comment and let me know. If you're excited about pre-order, of course you are. That's one of the best perks of being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is getting to see the new catalog early and also getting to order early from it. Now, this catalog is going to start May 3rd, so if you're not a demonstrator, you won't be able to order yet. However, if you want to join in the month of April, you can actually order the pre-order stuff in your starter kit. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> so if you want to talk to me about that, then um, let's let's have a little chat. I cannot wait. I'll be able to tell you tomorrow um, what the things are that you can pre-order early. And I'll be getting my order in and sharing that with you next week. But we can't talk about that yet. So we're going to put that aside. I do want to mention that today is the last day. It is Thursday, March 31st is the last day of the savings are in bloom special where you get 20% off um, 13 different bundles plus the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. So if you've been thinking about this, today's the last day to get the extra discount. It's normally $60 going up to 63 in the new catalog and on sale for 48 for the next few hours. <laughs> if you've been wanting to buy this, run over to my online store, juliedavison.com slash shop, and make sure that you get your Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine little one before the sale ends. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Just right out of my head. <laughs> um, I see Chris is is here from Australia. It's already Friday, April 1st there, and it's no joke. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. Today is the last day um, to take advantage of current shipping rates. Stampin' Up! is raising their shipping rates just a little bit for the first time in, I don't even know, over a decade. Um, I've been a demonstrator for 20 years. This is only the second time they've raised shipping in those 20 years. And I will tell you that I know, because I mail a lot of stuff, that the post office has raised their prices every year, I feel like, in the last decade. Um, and so I think it's pretty impressive that Stampin' Up! has held out this long. They've always tried to rearrange and not pass that on to us, but shipping costs have gone up. And my mailings through the, the post office have literally doubled in cost. And so I know that the shipping rates have, have been going up this whole time. Stampin' Up! just hasn't passed it on, but they just can't absorb it anymore. So starting tomorrow, April 1st, shipping is going up a little bit. So if you want to take advantage of lower shipping rates, you should place an order today. Um, okay, so last chance, I wanted to show you all the yellow is discounts and all the pink is sold out. You guys, there's more yellow than pink, I think, but a lot of what is selling out right now are stamp sets, which traditionally are available until closer to the end of the catalog period. That is not the case this year. So if you're thinking about any of the stamp sets on the last chance list, do not wait. I don't want you to miss out and be sad that you couldn't get the stamp set that you wanted. So make sure you get your order in. Amazing discounts up to 50% off. I updated the flyer right before I went live, so you can check that out. I'll add the link to the video description when we're all done. This is my easy to read um, version where I um, took out the French stuff and I um, arranged the columns so that they're a little bit bigger. So if you haven't seen this yet, be sure to check that out. I'll add the link when we're all done. Class on Monday, we're gonna do a free online card class featuring the Rainbow of Happiness bundle. This is the bundle from the January through June mini catalog and to my knowledge, it is not going to carry over. So um, if you're looking at this one, you still have a few more months. This one won't end until June 30th, but um, it's so much fun. I'm pairing it with the Sunshine and Rainbows designer paper. Let me show you really quick. 
Um, so this is what the card kit looks like. If you like to have things that are kind of um, ready to go for you, you're going to get 12 sheets of Sunshine and Rainbows designer paper, and you're going to get five pre-cut cards. Now, you will have to do your own die cutting with the dies. So when you see things like this, or um, this one has a die cut, um, well, the, the clouds will be provided for you. But anything that's die cut with the Rainbow of Happiness bundle, you'll die cut on your own. You're going to cut the designer paper um, to go with the card. Now, if you get the, the card kit, it includes the PDF. I'll send that to you over email. You'll also get the link with the card kit. You can also just buy the PDF tutorial if that's what you want to do. That is in my Etsy store right now. You can get that at tinyurl.com slash mar for March 2022 PDF or mar 2022 SOTM is where you you can reserve a card kit. Now, I can't guarantee you're going to get it by Monday for the class, but I do have a lot of extra card kits left over, so it's not too late to get your card kit so that you can stamp along with me. The class is free if you just want to watch on YouTube. That's going to be a YouTube Live on Monday, April 4th at 7 p.m. The replay will be available, so if you can't watch live, no worries. You can catch it later. Um, here is a sneak peek of one of the cards we'll be making. What's this one right here? I love the way that turned out. These are cut with the dies, and then we have the cloud punch as well. I just love this. So, so pretty. Sending you a rainbow of happiness. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm excited about this class. I hope you are too. These cards are pretty amazing. Speaking of amazing cards, have you been following my project playback series? This week I posted a tour tutorial for the wiper card, and here's the version that I remade using the Hello Ladybug. I'll include the link in the video description if you haven't seen that yet, but Project Playback premieres every week at 7 p.m. on Wednesday nights. So I have been reposting some of my favorite tutorials and remaking them using new products. So if you haven't seen Project Playback, be sure to check that out. This video is up there right now to see the wiper card. Ah, oh, I have some mail call and I better do it now because I forgot last week and so I don't I don't want to um <laughs> I don't want to forget again. So I'm gonna start with some happy mail from Stampin' Up. These came separately. This is a card from our CEO Sarah Douglas congratulating me on hitting my 900,000 career milestone. Oh my gosh, we did that right at the end of February. So I mentioned it before in our video, but I got this beautiful card from Sarah. Oh my goodness. I just feel like the cards get more amazing with every milestone. I also received this pin from Stampin' Up! to celebrate my accomplishment. And this came in a separate package. So if you ever celebrate a, a milestone from Stampin' Up!, you'll get just the box and um, a card separately. So here's the pin that has nine little crystals in it, one for each of those 100,000 um, that I've sold. I still can't believe that in 20 years, 900,000. We're getting close to that million. So exciting. Well, I received some other cards and I want to share those as well. Um, you guys just bless me so much with your handmade cards. And I hope you know how amazing it feels to get a handmade card. I hope you're getting handmade cards in the mail. And I know you're sending handmade cards in the mail. And so I encourage you to do more of that this year. My goal is to send more cards to family and friends and um, just bring those smiles and that happiness to everybody's mailbox this year. So I hope you will join me in sending more cards. I know I have been on the receiving end and it makes me feel so special and so amazing when I open up a card from you guys. So I want to give a shout out and a special thanks to everybody who sent me cards in the last um, few weeks. This one is from Janet Casto. I love this. Um, the sea life dies, which unfortunately are retiring. She's paired it here with the waves of the ocean designer paper still available. The blue foil though has sold out. We got the seabed embossing folder here. And I just think that everything goes together so beautifully, Janet. I love this card. This layout was one that I challenged my team. So I do a card layout challenge for my team every other week. And um, so Janet's on my team and she used that layout as inspiration for this card. So Another perk of being on my team is we do those layout challenges and share lots of amazing cards in our team group. I just, we have such an amazing team. So, Janet, thank you for the card. Thank you for being part of the Jubilant Stampers. I just love you, girl. 
Next up is a card from Marcia Duncan. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Using the hand pen floral, the lattice, uh, which is retiring, as well as the tasteful textile. This was such a treat, Marcia. Thank you so much for your beautiful note. Wishing you your best year yet. I'm so excited. I think 2022 is going to be my best year yet. <laughs> Thank you for the beautiful card, Marcia. I just love it. Oh, this one is from Patricia McDonald. I accidentally sent her her custom a reward card so I do a little um, reward program for my customers and they get a little point for every $40 that they spend and then they get a gift certificate when they reach 10 points and I accidentally sent the index card that I use to track the orders to Patricia in her thank you card this is the first time I've ever done it I was so embarrassed well, Patricia sent it back to me in this beautiful card. Patricia, thank you so much for understanding. And <laughs> I feel like such a goof for sending that in the first place. But I did receive this beautiful card from you. And so um, not that I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it on purpose again, but it kind of worked out good for me, didn't it? <laughs> I love this. These little die cuts are vellum. And then she colored each one. And I just think it's so pretty. It has a little metallic on there. This is part of... Um, an ephemera pack. So the ribbon and the washi tape and those little die cuts were all from the same ephemera pack. I just love that color there. Um, what color is that? What blue is that? That's, um, I want to say Marina Mist, but that's not right, is it? Has it been that long? It might be. Oh my goodness. Patricia, thank you so much for the beautiful card and for sending my oopsie back to me. <laughs> this one's from Ella, Ellen Haberlein. Oh my gosh. I missed a letter in your last name, Ellen. I'm so sorry. Uh, this was such a fun card to get. I sent her a prize with this stamp set in it uh, for a Facebook drawing that I did. And so Ellen sent me a card to say thank you. And I just love it. This, the coloring here with the colored pencils is just so sweet and so soft. Thank you so much, Ellen, for this card. I love it so much. I actually have not used this stamp set. This is a host stamp set in the January through June mini catalog. And I, I've had it for months and I haven't done anything with it. So I'm going to have to get it out. I really love your card and it definitely has inspired me. Thank you, Ellen. Next up is a card from Sandy Allman. Oh my goodness. I love this so much, Sandy. Sandy sent me this card all the way from Canada using the Expressions in Ink designer paper and the Coordinating Color and Contour um, stamp set. I love these in colors, Pale Papaya and Polished Pink paired here with Pear Pizzazz. This paper is retiring this gorgeous specialty paper with the gold foil. So make sure that you grab that up before it sells out. As, as of right now, none of the designer papers or ribbon or anything like that has sold out yet so that's exciting next up we have a set of cards from bonnie russell now i sent bonnie um a prize with the calming camellia stamp set this was in the celebration it was the host offering and so i had an extra and i sent it to bonnie as a prize and so she made some cards for me using the calming camellia i just thought that was so sweet bonnie thank you so much i love what you've done here with the stamps now if you don't have the calming camellia stamp set you can create a similar look using the flowing flowers or other distinctive stamps from the Stampin' Up! catalogs. This one is really cool. She stamped the image, stamped it again and cut it, and stamped it again and cut it some more and just layered those on top of each other. I forgot what you call this technique. Oh my gosh, it's like on the tip of my tongue. I know you guys know. Leave me a comment and let me know what this technique is called where you layer um, on top and, you know, add the dimensionals under each layer. My grandmother um, has some framed art that she created using this technique. It's so beautiful and so amazing the way that um, it just adds such incredible um, dimension. Um, anyway, leave a comment if you know the name of this technique. I, it's just on the tip of my tongue and I cannot think of it tonight. Another gorgeous card, two more here from Bonnie using that calming camellia stamp set. Oh, I just love it. Here in my thoughts. Oh, good one. Oh, and look at that. Coordinating envelopes too. Bonnie, you thought of everything. Thank you so much. Um, okay, Kathy says, is it called piecing? Um, I mean, that's kind of what it is, but I feel like there's another name for it. Decoupage, Cindy says, I don't, maybe decoupage. Um, I felt like decoupage is more of like the, um, um, I, I, can, I don't have words today. <laughs> maybe that's what it's called. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Um, I always thought of decoupage as being more of the um, uh, paper mache. That's not right, though. Hmm. 
Uh, well, thank you so much for chiming in with your answers. Um, I don't know why I can't think of words. <laughs> All right. I have a, a little more to share with you. A few more cards. Now, um, if you follow my channel, you probably have seen the great big card swap. This is so much fun. And if you've not participated before, I hope that you will give it a shot. Um, here's how it works. You send in a card and then I do a video showcase and you get to see all the cards that were sent in and then I mix them up and I send them back. So when you send a card in, you get a card back. So it's so much fun. Um, we have a new theme every month, a theme for eight April is nature. So think like um, landscape, ocean, rainbows, weather. You could do flowers, um, though we recently did a flower theme. So any, any anything having to do with nature. And then the theme for May is masculine. So I'm excited to see what you guys create ahead of Father's Day there. And you can send your cards to Julie Davis and P.O. Box 6164, Champaign, Illinois 61826. Uh, if you're in the United States, you want to include a return postage stamp. Um, and then just make sure to write up on a post-it note or a loose note inside of your card so that whoever gets it can send it on and bless somebody else with your beautiful handmade cards. Well, I am so blessed because some of you send extra cards for me. And so I just wanted to show you some of these again from our last video showcase of people that sent in extra cards. This one is from Susie Eater. Love this color combination with the blue and the plum and then the black outline of the flower. So gorgeous. Um, thank you so much, Susie, for that card. Um, next up is a card from Mesa Sama using the Zany Zebras. I love this simple um, Z-fold card and that pineapple punch is so bright. So much fun. This beautiful card came from Trina Hillegas using the Fox and Friends and the Retired Fox Builder Punch. Love these colors together too. Calypso Coral along with Smoky Slate is just really stunning. Love the ribbon there on the tag. And last card is from Julia Mazer. Oh my gosh, I ran into Julia in town here at a restaurant. It was so, <laughs> it was so crazy. Julia, if you're watching, <laughs> I like you totally made my day I was so happy that you came up and said hello and I just love this card it seriously just makes me so happy I love all the colors I love the composition of the turtle and friends with the host pattern party designer paper and I was so happy that I got an extra one Julia thank you so much for um, including an extra card for me thank you everybody who sent me some extra cards and um, if you haven't already I hope that you will try out the great big card swap our next video showcase is on Tuesday so make sure you tune in on Tuesday night at 7 o'clock p.m. to see all the cards that were sent in we always do two videos every month so if you haven't sent in a card for April it may not make it in time for the first video but but it definitely will make it in time for the second video, which is going to be on Tuesday, um, the 26th. Nope. You know what? I lied. It's not next Tuesday. It's Tuesday, April 12th. That's in two weeks. Well, one, one, two, two weeks from this last Tuesday. Okay, there's still time. I'm losing, <laughs> I'm losing track of time. <laughs> okay, tonight we are going to do some crafting with the Easter Friends stamp set. Um, and this is brand new. I just received it in a box that came today. And I have been eyeing this stamp set and thinking about it. And so I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to get it. And so um, it just arrived today. And since I don't have a plan, this is what we're going to make. We're going to make some cards using Easter friends. And we're just going to kind of make it up as we go. If that frustrates you and you don't like to, <laughs> to watch me make it up, then um, I won't be offended if you say good night <laughs> or come back later. Um, but I, I hope you do stick around because um, I'm just going to do some some simple stamping, simple layering tonight to make cards with this cute little bunny and this cute little duck. I mean, have you seen a happier duck in your entire life? <laughs> Isn't this just the sweetest little image? Oh my gosh, it makes me so happy. And of course, with Easter coming up in a few weeks, um, I feel like there is still time to order this stamp set. Easter Friends is in the January through June mini catalog. So it's not it's not retiring yet. There's still plenty of time to get it. You don't have to worry about it selling out. Um, but 
I, I wouldn't wait too long or you won't be able to make cards for Easter. Or I think just spring in general. So the sentiments in here, we've got happy Easter, my friends, sending warm and happy wishes this spring. May your days blossom with joy and happiness. What I love about this is that it's got inside greetings to go along with the outside greetings. So um, I love that you can create a card and then, you know, do a little something on the inside as well. Sometimes we have these stamp sets and they just have kind of words for the outside and they don't really go with anything for the inside. So I like to have a little sentiment to put on the inside as well. Um, all right, well, I'm just gonna put all these on blocks. I'm not sure exactly which ones we're using um, tonight because, <laughs> because I am just kind of making it up as we go. Um, now, if you have not uh, watched my videos before, or maybe you haven't seen a lot of them, what I'm doing is I'm putting the stickers on my block, and then I am putting the block on the stamp. So this is how I mount my stamps. And it's important to do it like this because when you put your stamp down on the table first and then bring your block over it, you have even pressure along the stamp. Now, if you were trying to place it the other way and you have the sticker on the block, then uh, maybe your hands aren't straight. Maybe you're kind of bowing that, that stamp a little bit and then you don't get a nice even um, even pressure with the cling label on the stamp. And th that's important. You definitely wanna make sure that you have um, a good sticker to, <laughs> to stamp um, sticky. Now I always hang on to my, um, my outline and I keep it in my stamp case. This allows me to have the stamp go in the spot. I can see really easily if I'm missing any stamps and it just kind of keeps them from getting loose and rattling around in there. Um, now the, the new cling stickers though are pretty good. So you probably don't need to add that in there, but it's kind of an old habit for me. And, um, I still, I still do it whether or not I need two or not um we did have a change over if you've got some older stamps um that have our old cling stickers they are they're not as sticky as the newer ones but we do have a cling adhesive where you can um you can get adhesive adhesive sheets that are just the sticky right nothing printed on it so you can add pieces um which one is this? You can add pieces of the cling adhesive to the, um, the stamp that's already on there um, or the sticker that's already on there so that it's stickier and it sticks to the black better. That was the problem with the old cling adhesive is that it didn't stick to the clear black very well and it was always kind of popping off. And so um, many of you, I know I did, I just got to the point where I wasn't putting my stickers on the stamps and I would just use the... Um, you know, just use this part. So that's a paper label, you just peel that off. I was just putting it on like that and using it without the sticker at all. But uh, the new stickers stick really, really well. And um, I, I really appreciate being able to kind of see, even though I can't see through the stamp, I still can kind of see what I'm stamping and that helps me to um to line things up so one more to go sorry i didn't get this done ahead of time um susan i see your comment about um more religious stamps and i feel like they do that every couple of years they do have some more um more religious i'm trying to remember if i saw one in the catalog i feel like i did but i honestly haven't had a good look at the new catalog yet um, they sort of cycle through. I feel like every every um, every other year we have some um, some good ones. So you got to make sure you get those awesome stamps when you see them come through. Okay, I got all my Easter friends. I thought that this stamp set would go really well with the hand penned designer paper. Um, and I did get one of the great big card swaps. I've sent it off now, so I don't have it anymore, but it, it was using the stamp set and the designer paper. But I, um, I, so I was inspired by that, but I think in general, sorry, getting rid of my trash. <laughs> I think in general that the hand penned um, designer paper is just so perfect for spring. Obviously we've got these really great florals, but check out the B side. Is that not just scream like Easter eggs? <laughs> Especially like these. I think like that, that is just, 
like Easter eggs right there. I just love these colors. Highland Heather, Mint Macaron, Pale Papaya, So Saffron, uh, Blushing Bride, and then a darker sort of like lighter garden green, soft succulent kind of um, going on there. So um, I had so much fun making some cards with the um, Simply Succulents. Um, let me see if I have those really quick. This was one of the first free online classes that I did last summer. And I love the way these cards turned out. I'm going to show you. Oh, I do have them right here. Okay, good. Um, so here I used a different stamp set, but I used this hand penned designer paper. Um, and so you can see some of these. I used the B side there. Here, two B sides. And then this one too. I had a, a fifth card, but I'm not sure where that one went, actually. Um... I don't even remember what it looked like. <laughs> I actually have one extra card kit from the Simply Succulents and the PDF is available in the online store or not the online store in Etsy in, in my Etsy shop. All the PDFs uh, of my recent classes are in the Etsy shop. So you can check those out there if you just want to cut your own stuff at home. Anyway, my point is you definitely need to get this designer paper. <laughs> it is so perfect for spring cards and it's retiring. Now this one doesn't have a discount. It's still available. And so you definitely want to just grab that up while you can. So we're going to use this tonight. We're going to kind of, like I said, we're going to kind of make it up as we go. I have some um, card bases here. I see some sad and mad faces. Oh no. What did I say? You're sad that it's retiring. <laughs> I hope I didn't say something wrong. Um, we're going to use some of this paper with a cardstock and we're just going to kind of, um, we're just going to kind of make it up as we go. So um, <laughs> I try to look back at your comments and see if I missed. So if I missed some of your comments while I was, um, while I was doing the stickers, I, I will try to look over them. I did see, Susan, you asked about when did I start. The Facebook Live starts at 7.10 p.m. Central Time. If you're on the East Coast, that'd be 8.10 p.m. I'm not sure what time is it now. I guess we've been on for 20, about 20 minutes, 30, 30 minutes. I lost track. Okay, so we're going to make some cards. I'm hoping for three. We're going to do one featuring the bunny, one featuring the duck, and one featuring the chick. Now, um, I was thinking about one of these papers has some brown in it, this one. And I thought that would be really pretty to do like the brown um, the brown bunny, don't you think? Like the brown bunny and then some of the designer paper and we could have our, our little bunny honey. We're gonna need a paper trimmer and some cardstock. I'm guessing on measurements, but I'll put all the measurements in the video description when I'm all done so that you don't have to guess and you can, um, you can know what I'm doing even though I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> So to start off, I'm just sort of like guessing and estimating. So this is um, two and a half inches by three and three quarter inches white. And um, I love this blue, this pool party. And I think the pool party and the brown is a really pretty um, juxtaposition. So I'm going to cut a piece of the pool party for the sentiment that's going to be uh, three quarter inch by, let's go two and three quarters. And let's see what fits on there. Oh, happy Easter fits on there. That's gonna be good. And um, mm, mm -mm, I kind of wanna layer, let's take a look at some of these other patterns. Kind of want to layer that bunny on another color, but maybe green. Well, let's let's stamp them and see what we think. So I'm going to bring in some cinnamon cider now. Cinnamon cider is one of the in colors that's retiring. We've got misty moonlight, cinnamon cider, bumblebee, magenta madness, and misty moonlight, and just jade. Did I say that one? Um, so. All of these colors are retiring. The ink refills for three of them have sold out. And um, I meant to check and see if, oh gosh, I just love that. I, sorry, I get distracted sometimes with cute stamps. <laughs> um, 
Misty, Moonlight, and Cinnamon Cider are not orderable, and they're supposed to be coming back in stock, but I haven't seen them come back in stock yet. I meant to check before I went live, and I forgot. Now, I pushed too hard there, and I got some ink at the top and bottom, so I'm just going to flip that over, and we're going to try it again. This time, I'm going to try not to push so hard so that I don't transfer the extra ink. Very successful there, except my paper trimmer is a little bit, um, a little rough around the edges. I think that worked out okay. You know, I kind of want to add, like, um, I just want to add, like, a little, like some sponging or something to this, and... Um, sorry, this case is not stamping up. <laughs> I have it for my sponge dollars. I just want to, like, I kind of want to add just like a little sponging here. I had some ink already, and I honestly don't know. It looks like it's the same color ink. I don't really want to, um, to like be very dark, but I just kind of want to have a soft, sort of, you know, fluffy, furry. Um, look for him. So I'm just gonna just sort of blend this. I didn't add any extra ink. I'm just using the little bit of ink that's already on there and just sort of like um, blending that. And I think that's just perfect. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I love that. That is just right. Okay, so cute, cute, cute. Um, now we have to figure out our layering. And I don't, I like this blue, but I feel like I'm going to end up covering up our, our silly rabbit. Let's do, I'm going to do three inches by four and a quarter. I'm going to go all the way. I want to go all the way to the top with this and then I think have a layering. Oh, I'm still not sure about that blue. Maybe the blue needs to go behind the bunny. Hmm. This was, let's see, four inches. Right, four, that way. And two and three quarters that way. Ugh, I think I need a new blade on my trimmer. Whenever I get like this, um, I use my scissors and try to like trim off the extra fuzzies. I see your question, Susan, about where did I get the case? And I honestly don't remember. <laughs> um, I think my mom might have gotten it for me. I, or I bought one and I got one for her. Like I kind of remember I've had it for, I would say like five years probably. Um, and I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, it, they're just perfect though for the sponge daubers and clearly I need more to fill it up. <laughs> I don't use my sponge daubers a lot. Um, I kind of go through like little phases where I use them and then I don't. Um, sponge daubers come in packages of three or five and let's take a quick look in the catalog. I marked my catalog with all the things that are retiring. Look at all these ribbons that are on sale, you guys. It's awesome. Um, so let's see. Sponge daubers are going to be with the tools near the inks. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sad about all my, all my punches that are retiring. I cry. <laughs> I took them all off my shelf yesterday, and now my shelf is so empty. Okay, here's the sponge daubers, number six. They do come with five daubers, so five for five. Right there, they're a dollar each. One, three, three, seven, seven, three. They're not retiring. I just was pointing them out because I'm using them. Um, okay, so we're working on this card, and um, uh, oh, you know what? I think if I have the, um, I think if I have it that way, it's going to work out better. So now that I've cut my paper, oh, we still have one that's going to work. We're going to cut this at five and a half, and we're going to cut it at two inches. And we're just gonna flip, flip this around. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> now I moved the blue because I didn't like it going all the way up and down, but I don't know, do you guys think it needs, do you think it needs that color behind there? 
I I don't like that it it almost fills the space, but maybe it's not a bad thing. Okay, what do you think? Blue back or not? Leave a comment and let me know what you think. I'm just gonna leave it right like this. I see you guys are liking that blue. Okay, this when I craft on my own, <laughs> this is kind of how I do it. Like I lay things out and then I like shove it aside and I think about it and then I come back and I glue it down. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. We're just gonna place it up here and maybe I'll think about something else I wanna add to it. But next, let's move on to our cute duck. Oh my gosh, I just love this one so much. He makes me so happy. Hmm, I was thinking about this yellow, of course, for our duck, because ducks are yellow. And look at this, oh my gosh. I found this, I have a box with like card fronts in it. And so I had some So Saffron cards where I already had die cut this border. I'm pretty sure this is from the um, contour dies, the um, scallop contours. Let me just show you really quick. Um, it's in the back and it's gonna be bundled with a stamp set. It's the scallop and contours. Um, no, maybe it's not the one I thought it was. Oh, it's this one. It's the hand penned. See how there's like a little stitch scallop border? So it's the hand penned petals suite, which is actually the one, the, the hand penned petals bundle, I meant, is the one that goes with this designer paper. So there you go. Um, so I guess it would make sense that I use this, um, <laughs> that scallop there. Um, I thought that was just the cutest little scallop border there. And so I'm going to do, um, let's see here. I want to do this cute little bunny and maybe some, mm, I can't decide between the pink and the, not the pink. Um, blah, blah, blah. nope, that's not the color. Um, this mm, soft sea foam, a little soft sea foam, or the misty moonlight. Oh, I like that contrast. Okay, misty moonlight it is. So we're going to do, uh, again, I'm just sort of making this up as I'm going, but I promise I'll share all the measurements when we're done so you guys have it. We're going to do three and a half inches by five inches, five and a quarter. And then we're going to cut some white as well. And we said three and a half, so now we're going to do three and a quarter. And we did five and a quarter, so we're going to do five. So that is going to layer... On there where did our card friend go let's see oh it's underneath here hey that's pretty perfect isn't it i want to add a little oh my gosh this is so stinking cute <laughs> i can't decide i kind of want to do like an an inch long strip and five like this oh yes <laughs> i love it i love that so much okay we're gonna do um we're, gonna, we're just yeah oh, i know i kind of want to do words um yep okay da, da, da. that and then this with the lighter green yeah i think so Let's do a punch. My favorite, one of my favorite punches is retiring. I already moved it to the other side. Let's see, this is the Everyday Label Punch. That's gonna fit very nicely. Let's punch a piece. We're gonna use some black Memento ink, which is what we use for Stampin' Blends. And so we're going to stamp. We're going to stamp the words, sending warm and happy wishes this spring. Oh, I'm trying to decide if I like that. Let's try again. Hmm. Sometimes it's better just to, <laughs> to stamp and then punch. And then you can see 
where you're punching, that is the smarter thing to do to get it exactly where you want it. Okay, we're also going to stamp our little duck. He's so cute. Oh my goodness, right in the corner. Oh, 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 he's so happy. Okay, this is going to, we're going to use some so saffron and a little bit of, I'm going to throw in a little bit of pale papaya for the duck um, beak and the feet. Duck bill. Same thing, right? Oh, I went outside the lines a little bit. I'm gonna use my color lifter and lift that right out. Okay, so we're gonna do some light. So saffron, I'm going all over with the light and then I'm gonna come back and hit all those sketchy dark spots with the darker color to kind of highlight that. So light all over and then going back um, to add some dark. I love how the Stampin' Up! product designers make it so easy to know where to color because, you know, I don't feel like an artist. <laughs> um, but when I stamp or color with color or Stampin' Blends, I do. I feel like they just make it so easy to make to make beautiful things. Okay, our card is coming together. Oh, 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 I'm not sure I like the green. What do you guys think? I feel like it's too light. Maybe we need a little mint macaron. Is that too dark? I'm gonna switch over to a different sentiment that's a little bit longer. May your days blossom with joy and happiness. How confident are you in your ability to cut straight? <laughs> I do better with longer scissors. I think that darker green is good. So this is mint macaron, and this was um, soft sea foam. So the soft sea foam is just, um, like, if you look at this soft sea foam against this paper, I feel like it matches a little more, but I think it is the mint macaron that's supposed to be um, in there. Anyway, um, we're looking really good here. I'm loving this cute little duck. <laughs> he is just adorable. So let's get things layered up. I am ready to commit and glue it down. I'm also going to add... Oh, 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 geez. <laughs> I, tried, I tried to grab a roll. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I, I tried to grab... Um, <laughs> I had to grab a roll and it everything just came everything just came out with it um, um this is an older roll of twine but we still do have white twine in the um essentials essentials um baker's twine essentials something <laughs> um as long as we have white i don't care what they call it uh, I'm gonna just do some loopy loops um, and put that behind there. I love that. So let's add a little bit of glue. I see you guys are working on finding that sponge dauber case. <laughs> I hope that you are successful. Um, if you're not, I'll try to look it up and see if I can add a link. Um, like I said, I don't remember when I got it or where I got it, but um, hopefully we can we can figure it out. Um, it is kind of handy to keep those colors or the, the sponge daubers in there. All right. I should have just left it alone because it was looking just fine and I had to monkey with it. <laughs> We're going to add this strip. This was one inches, one inch by five. And we're going to add that to the side of the designer paper, to the side of the cardstock. It is designer paper. 
Hold on. Oh, girl. <laughs> oh, a little, little tear up. I feel like I want to have an even amount of space between the duck and the designer paper. And so I picked it up so I could move it over just a little bit. And I'm going to just trim off the edge there, um, the extra. Okay, and then we're going to layer this onto the blue. Oh my gosh, that duck is the cutest. He's the cutest. And this onto the yellow. I'll have the measurements in the video description when we're all done. We're going to add this to the top with some Stampin' Dimensionals to finish off our cute cute card oh good i see molly posted a link looks like you guys found it i'm so glad okay i like it what do you think yep i agree let's add some wink of stella <laughs> oh there's always room for wink of stella Wink of Stella is a clear glitter brush, and so it just adds a little bit of sparkle to your image, and I just feel like, especially on this spring card, can you see that in the, um, hopefully you can see that in the light a little bit, just fun. Okay, cuteness, cuteness, cuteness. I feel like we need to add a little white panel inside though, huh? Um, let's do that really quick. Let's add, you know, maybe we'll put a chick inside since we have a duck on the outside. So we can also add, um, oh, da, 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 da. We'll do Happy Easter, which I did originally stamp in brown, so I'm going to clean it really quick before I bring it into my black ink so we don't cross-contaminate our inks. Oh my gosh, I just had an idea for the chick for our next card. Cute, 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 cute. We're gonna do the same um, colors that we used for the Stampin' Blend. So I'm just gonna, oh, just gonna throw them around a little bit. Pale Papaya is the orange that I'm using for the feet and the beak. And then So Saffron was the yellow. So we're gonna do all over with the light. And then we're gonna go back over with the dark. And if you find it's too dark, you can just go back over with the light and lighten it up. But I'm gonna leave it just like that. Okay, so this is gonna go on the inside of our card. Oh, oh, and we get a little bit of white there to highlight the scallop. Oh, I kind of like that. Okay, well, we made this one first, but we kind of put it aside. So let's come back to it and let's glue it down. Um, now, I did, I did this layering a little bit different, and hopefully you... You'll like it like this. I put the... I'm going to put the blue down first. I'm going to bring this in for placement here. I want it over to the right side, but I want the designer paper to go in between the bunny and the blue. So I think that's good like that. So let's glue that down. Then the designer paper is going to come next. Um, toward the bottom. And then I want this to go on with some Stampin' Dimensionals. So let's add that. Oh my gosh. Have you guys ordered this stamp set yet? The Easter Friends. <laughs> I was trying so hard to resist it and I wasn't going to get it. Oh, and then 
I did. <laughs> oh, I know. How many times has that happened to you? You're not going to get it, and then you change your mind. <laughs> this one is so cute, and I think if you do get it, you won't regret it. It's adorable. Oh, now that I'm putting this together, I feel like we need to add some of that twine on this card as well. Like maybe something simple like a little bow. Oh, I added a Stampin' Dimensional on the end and a little regular glue here, but I think it needed one more dimensional in the middle to keep that nice height there. I'm gonna do about, I don't know, nine inches and tie a bow. And I, that's just perfect, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna add this with some mini glue dots. Put the bow onto the glue dot, and then you can lift the whole thing up and stick it, stick it down. So cute, so cute. All right, I do have to make an inside for this one too though because our other card got an inside. So let's cut, let's cut a quick, um, oops, I have, oops, I think that will work. Let's cut a quick inside. This is three and three quarters, so I'll do five inches and I'm going to bring in some of that designer paper. Um, I don't know if I have the right size piece. We're just, it's not exactly, it's not going to go across exactly because I flubbed the first one. <laughs> Whoops but it'll just be a little, bringing in a little bit of that color to the inside of the card. This is gonna go just, let's put it right side up, just inside here. We have Happy Easter on the front, so let's bring in one of those words. Um, sending warm and happy wishes this spring which i think was in black ink but we're going to stick with brown because that's what we used on the other two um and so i want to stick with that warm cinnamon cider color okay where did that one go right here well you know what it's not exactly centered <laughs> However, I already glued the paper down. Oh, I think the paper can come up. Let's try it again. Making sure my stamp is on the block nice and straight. This is it though. It's got to work this time. That's better, don't you think? This is going to go right inside here. Okay, we've got one horizontal card. We've got one vertical card. We've got a bunny and a duck, but now we need to feature the chicky chick. And I had an idea. And so let's pick out some paper to make our idea happen. I want to have some paper. Let's see. Kind of like this one, and maybe we'll bring in some purple. That's the one color I didn't get out of the card cases. Oh yes, this is gonna be fantastic. 
I don't think I mentioned it, but this designer paper is, um, is 12 by 12. I just had some six by six pieces cut for, um, the ease of showing you. So cutting this one to two and a half inches by four and a quarter, and it's going to go across the card front. I hope to fit three chicks across this card base. And so I'm going to start with the chick in the center so that I can then center the other chicks between the middle chick and the sides. And it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. We're going to color our chicky with those markers. Where did those markers go? Probably need some Winka Stella too. Um, I'm only going to color one though, because I just want to kind of spotlight one little chick. Because it says my friend. So this is my friend. My friend, cutie chicky. I'm using the same technique I did before. There are lots of ways that you can color images, watercolor pencils, sponge daubers like I did on that one. You can do watercolor with um, watercolor and a water painter brush. I just love the Stampin' Blends though. I feel like it's so easy to color with those. All right. Oh, <laughs> is this the cutest? It's so cute. We need a little bit of green on this card, I think. So I'm going to bring in this um, designer paper and just cut like a little strip to go underneath the, um, underneath our, our chick layer. And kind of highlight that. Oh, <laughs> I just love that. That'd be great in the center. Oh, yeah, just like that, I think. Okay, so this is going to go down. Let's see. I'm centering it at the top so that I, I kind of want there to be like an even amount of space on the sides and the bottom. So actually, I'm going to go just a hair up and I'll put the final measurements like I said in the video description when I'm all done I'll populate that with a shopping list and um, some of the links that I talked about as well I'm going to add this to the bottom to go across I think what about I don't know if I like the green <laughs> <laughs> what I want is this one. Where's the other piece of that yellow? I think we used it on the other. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I feel like we need a yellow piece. So let's. I cut it off camera, but you know what I was doing. <laughs> Oh, yes. That's so cute. Maybe that's too much, though. Let's go just like a little bit. Oh, isn't that sweet? I feel like we need to incorporate. Oh, you guys are going to kill me, but I. I think I might change it. <laughs> Hold on. Um, two inches by three inches. Let's let me just play and we'll see really quick. We might do something different. I kind of like the idea of just having like that single duck. Let's see. Does the my friend fit across? 
just like talking out loud. I know, isn't this yellow so happy? So saffron is like one of my favorites. I just love how bright it is. Okay, that's gonna work. We just need it to be a little bit longer. Nope, not that one. Two inches by two and a half inches. You guys can vote. If you like the other one better, we'll keep that one. quick coloring bring our little bring our little chicky to life I see Kathy's on board with a single chick <laughs> this I don't know it just feels crowded and it didn't it it covers up a lot of the floral I'm like I'm gonna save that I think for something else but um I think the single chick just kind of um works a little bit better what do you guys think let me know leave a comment yeah Brenda says she likes this one better I'm really excited Thomas and I have been talking about doing a special um, YouTube live where um, we give you choices and you guys vote on it and then I make whatever you <laughs> decide on so we're still working out the logistics of that but I'm super super excited about um, about doing it that way and I, I hope that you'll join us when we get it all all figured out because I always love when you guys share your opinions and tell me what you think <laughs> and I feel bad when I I go against you guys <laughs> I don't know that that happens that often though I usually I usually go along with what you guys vote on but I am loving this little chicky I I love the um I love it on the side there. I think I like it smaller. Brenda says, I love how you can just do that so quick and it always turns out great. Um, that is years of experience. <laughs> 20 years of experience with, um, with stamping. See, I like it better with this purple. Now we're just, we're just going to make a bonus card with this one because I do like that better with the, just the plain purple back there. I think it's too distracting with all of the flowers here. Um, we're going to do, you know, we're just going to do like a simple bow, I think on this one too. So I've just got some twine and I'm going to tie a bow and glue dot it on again like on the side okay but we definitely need to have this go on with some stamp and dimensionals so let's let's glue this down onto the yellow paper just screams Easter to me. And then um, some Stampin' Dimensionals. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness, I already put that on there. I, I wish that hung over just a little more. Is it too late to move this? Oh. <laughs> I'm off camera because I'm trying to bring it closer to me. It's all about the right pressure to separate <laughs> without tearing. <laughs> I want to move it over because I, I want that to kind of stick out a little bit. So... I moved it over just a smidgey. It, it did have even sides, but now they're uneven sides, but that's okay. This is going to go over here all the way to the edge. We're going to add in. Now I was thinking about tying the twine like all the way around the yellow, but I think that adding it on the side kind of gives it the effect without actually having to tie it all the way around. And I would tie it all the way around, except that sometimes like it 
the paper is flimsy and so trying to tie twine around paper sometimes ends up in weird you know like crinkling so this way it kind of looks like it's tied around but it's not all the way oh these hearts just made me so happy <laughs> i love them okay we have a duck, we have a bunny, we have a chick. We use the hand-penned floral um, designer paper, which is, which is retiring. Oh my gosh. So make sure that you grab that up so that you don't miss out because it's so perfect for spring. We need to do an inside. Let's do an inside really quick. Four and a quarter. Our front says my friend. So the inside, what have we not used yet? Let's use up. This one says sending warm. Okay, I think we've used them all. You know what we haven't used is the grass. We're gonna put random grass in there because I wanna use all the stamps. <laughs> Let's do this one. May your days blossom with joy and happiness. And, oh, I got some ink. Just use that sand eraser. That gets most of it off. I don't even see where I have ink on my hands. Um, all right, let's add some green. Is that too random? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe it's too random. What do you think? <laughs> oh my gosh, I missed a whole bunch of your comments. How was I stuck up there? Um, I'm sorry I missed all your comments. I promise I'll go back and look at them. Um, okay, what do you think about the grass though, guys? I'm going to just, I'm going to put it in there. What color is that? Let's do the mint because that is a color we used on another card. Put a chick on the grass. I could do that. <laughs> it does look random, doesn't it? Um, you know what? Look at that chick. That chick is, oh, I'm afraid, I'm just going to stamp them on there. I was going to say, I'm afraid that I'm going to mess up <laughs> the grass, but it'll just look like he's standing in the grass, right? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Let's do some coloring because we have to color our little chicken. I feel like I've used these markers 10 times tonight, <laughs> coloring the same thing over and over again. Um, okay, so what other colors would you make the bunny rabbit, by the way, besides brown? I, oh, you know, I've, I'll show you really quick. There's a sample in the catalog where they use um, white colored pencil to color in the rabbit. It looks really cute. Okay, there's that. Tonight, we used Easter Friends <laughs> along with the hand-penned designer paper and we made a duck card. You know what, now we need some grass in there. <laughs> this chick needs grass as well. Oh, yes, <laughs> a duck card and a chick card. Doot. Oh, stop fussing, Julie. <laughs> a chick card and a bunny card with our Easter friends stamp set. Oh my gosh, I, <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed watching me just figure it out tonight because I certainly had some fun playing with the Easter Friends stamp set. I was going to show you that sample in the catalog. Let me grab that really quick. Um, here it is. So this stamp set is in the January through June mini catalog. And here is the, here it is on page 27. So you can see this sample right here. They stamped on yellow cardstock and then colored it with the white colored pencils and I just think that looks so awesome. 
So awesome. Maybe next time I'll do another card and color uh, color him white. This one's pretty too. I like that on the white cardstock. And then the coloring the blue around it to sort of make it pop. So fun. Oh my gosh. I know this stamp set is just the sweetest. I hope you did enjoy these cards tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to tune in on Sunday. I'm going to tell you right now, we have a really fun video. I, in fact, I just filmed it today with mom and Amy. Sunday stamping with Susan and Julie this Sunday is our challenge video. And so take a look at Julie's Stamping Spot Share and Connect group. In the next 24 hours, I'm going to post the materials that we use, the cards stock pieces and I would love for you guys to make a card and like stamp along with us for our challenge so what we're going to do on Sunday is we're going to reveal the cards that we made and then uh, we'll show each other because we each made a card and then we gave the material list to the other people and they made a card so we have like three versions of the material sets to show you um, and so we'll give you the material set early. So if you want to make a card, you can see how yours turned out and how it compared to ours. <laughs> Maybe you had some similar ideas or totally different. I would love for you to share your cards as well. So check out Julie's Stamping Spot Share and Connect group on Facebook. I'll be posting those measurements and photos of the supplies in the next 24 hours. And Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie this Sunday at noon is when we will reveal our designs. Oh, you guys have a wonderful evening and a fabulous weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in today, tonight, whenever you're watching this. <laughs> I'm so glad that you were here to stamp with me and chat. I look forward to stamping with you again soon. So tune in every Thursday at 7, 10 p.m. Central Time right here on Facebook. Happy stamping!